All right. Our next segment is brought to you by, and I'm going to call him Dob. <laughs> it is GoDaddy Online Bookkeeping, also affectionately known as Outright.com, but they are changing names. They are making a shift. Still the same great company. And here's the deal, you guys. You heard me talking about getting my new house. Well, I went over to Outright. I pulled a report that showed my revenue for my business. Guess what? Gave that report to the realtor, and they used that to get us qualified for this house. So even though you're self-employed, those reports look so good that you can use that where needed to get the things you need. I mean, it, it's crazy how much stuff it keeps track of. And it's free, you guys. You can get a free account over at Outright.com to keep track of one year's worth. Um, the fee, now if you get the pro version, which is the one that I have, now the, the difference between the free and the pro is that the free, you can only store 12 months of data. The pro version, you get forever. It'll, it'll keep your data forever. So you can go back, and you also get some extra reports, some extra bells and whistles. You print out your Schedule C, all that good stuff. Um, there is usually a way for you to do a one-time fee, um, but basically what you're doing is you're paying the 12-month fee all in once. And it will do the estimated taxes too, yes. I think it is absolutely worth its weight. Now, I know there have been some... Um, Pro, promo codes floating around out there. I don't personally have one for them, but I would just do a Google search, look for outright.com promo code, and see if you can find a code so that, yeah, I used to have one. I don't have, unless I, you still have that, April? It might still work. I don't remember what it was. That was a while ago, but they may not have taken that down. There's a possibility that would still work. Anyway, it's out there somewhere. There's always codes to use for stuff, you guys. I know GoDaddy is famous for having codes for stuff. Yep, yep. All right, so, and you guys, even at monthly, even at full price monthly, it is so worth the money. I think it was like $10 a month, something like that. I mean, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, I had a couple of scores this week, even though I was away. Oh, i got to tell you guys, it's so funny. I had a couple of sales come in on Wednesday evening, right, as I was getting ready to leave. And I just sat there, and I'm like, please don't pay, please don't pay, please don't pay. <laughs> Whoever wishes for that. Um, but I did, and they didn't, and they didn't pay until Friday, which was awesome. I didn't have any late shipments. Because I really, really did not want to take put my uh, my store on vacation while I was gone, so it all worked out. But I did have some good sales come in, including item number. What is my item number? Two two one two eight five two five eight four four six. This is a little vintage lamp that I picked up. I think I picked this up at a thrift store. I did not get this at the auction. I got this at a thrift store. I think I paid about 10 bucks for it. Um, in fact, I can check that real quick. No, no, I can't because I didn't put it in there. So I have this listed since September, and it sold for $75, guys, $75. So I uh, paid 10 sold for 75 and it cost about 10 to ship. And there you go. I'm very happy with that profit. Now, I wanted to tell you guys, whenever you have this style of an angel cherub, a lot of us know them as cherub, use the word putti, P-U-T-T-I, which is the Italian word for cherub or angel. And there's a lot of people that, and here's the, there's this thing I talk about, knowing your customer's language. So there is a type of customer who the word pooty over cherub speaks higher value. Does that make sense? I mean, it's just, it gives it a, uh, I guess it's a higher class angel. <laughs> but they pay more 
for a pooty. So there we go. So that's why I always use that word. Also, when you're dealing with these little lamps, um, you know, little bedside type lamps, the snob appeal. I love it, Joseph. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, yes. Um, these, you always want to use the term boudoir lamp. They're small, like little nightstand size lamps, boudoir lamp. And I actually, I picked up a pair at the auction house today. I haven't, they're not here yet. I'll show them to you next week. I'm so excited because I got them, like, I have my list in front of me. I got those lamps for $50 for the pair. They're Art Deco. I'm very excited. All right. I also sold a Venetian art glass decanter set. And you guys, be on the lookout for these. I pretty much find these everywhere and usually pretty cheap. Um, so this one had the edge of being purple or amethyst glass. And always use amethyst on purple glass. Item number 36069984-0352. I had it listed at $189.95 and I sold it for $160. $160. And I paid, what did I pay for that? Da -da -da -da. I paid $40. I paid $40 at the auction for that. And they had their little stickers that still said made in Italy. So that is why I got away with calling that one Venetian because there are, there's Bohemian glass, there's, there's some different, there's Polish glass, there's some different ones, but a lot of it is Italian, so you can absolutely call it Venetian if you have that Italy sticker. Yep, yep. And it wasn't too bad to pack. Actually, those glasses were quite small. I put two in a sheet of bubble wrap and then put them together with bubble wrap and then got the decanter and it was all good. It made it. Oh, cobalt blue. Yes, cobalt is also another very, very good color to be on the lookout for. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm hoping my uh, scores keep up this week because I need some Christmas money because uh, I need to uh, fund Santa. <laughs> but it's all good, right? It's all good. Okay, so I got stuff on my desk. Who wants to see my stuff on my desk here? Okay, we're going to do our plush of the week. I'm kind of digging the whole plush of the week thing, guys. Anybody know what these are? He's very vinyl-y. I'll give you that hint. <laughs> vinyl -y. So Disney makes a whole line. Thank you, Brenda. They are vinylmation. Vinylmation. And people are crazy collecting these things. It's it's kind of on the same order as the, you know, the park pins, the trading pins, only they have all these vinyl mation. They come in series. They're, and there's, oh my gosh, there's hundreds of them. Every year they come out with new sets, new series, and, and people have to have them all, and some become rare, retired. Now, I will tell you, this one right here, um, I paid $1.99 for and it's marked, it's Disney, it's officially licensed, but inside, check this out, it is all in, like, Japanese writing. So I have no idea what all this says. So this is a good one. Kim, do you know what series this is? Because I will tell you, I looked for about an hour today. I could not find him anywhere. Anywhere. And you see his eyes are like Mickey and Minnie looking out of like the robot creature. Thanks, Beth. This is a Japanese Disney Vinylmation figure. <laughs> oh, I would love it if you could tell me. Yeah, because I kind of gave up and was just going to go and list them as, as rare. This is one of those occasions I would say rare because if I can't find it anywhere, it's, it's rare. Okay, but Look out for Vinylmation because there's crazy collectors out there, and they're small and easy to ship. I'm absolutely going to run this one on auction. Yep, absolutely. So there's your plush of the week. Vinylmation, Vinylmation. Oh, and in my searching, guys, I, I actually bought one for myself because there is one that is a cow, and I couldn't resist. Okay. Yeah, it'll be here next week. I'll show it to you. <laughs> okay, so I have to be really careful when I say the maker of these things. Really, really careful. These are, well, first let me show you. 
these two. They're egg cups, okay? They are very, the, the, the mark is like some letters and numbers, nothing that you can really like say who done it, okay? Luck and law. <laughs> I'm going to say that very slowly. Um, yes, F-L-U-C-K and law, egg cups. They come, they're from England, and they're always in these British characters. I happen to have Prince Charles, Princess Di, and baby somebody. I don't know who the baby is. Who's the baby? Who would be the royal baby? I don't know. Um, so, I paid... $50 for the three of these at auction. And if you go and look these up on eBay, there is like one available, I think it's of Margaret Thatcher, and the rest of them are overseas. Oh, so it's Baby Harry or Baby William. Okay, I'll have to figure that out. I don't follow the whole royal family thing too much. But these were just so odd and so crazy that I figured each one has got to be worth 50 bucks, and that was about right. Yes, they're egg cups. They're crazy little egg cups in these funky shapes. Yes. And they're highly collectible. There's just none available, and that's my favorite kind of thing. Yep, yep, yep. Um, the other thing I got, and now I didn't have time to research one of these, but I just want to reiterate, you guys, you know I'm always big, big, big on picking up these bust sculptures. And I didn't research these before I bought them. I bought, they came, there was the three of these and then a couple other things in the lot. I don't even remember because I, I got it for these. Um, but I paid 25 for the lot. And this one here is Alexandra by the W.C. Lawton Sculpture Company. And it's got a date on here that I can't read without my glasses. I think it's like 19... 40 something, 41. Um, anyway, a little bit of information I've been able to find is that this is a highly sought after one and should bring me about a hundred bucks. Oh, is she the Empress of Russia? I do not know. Apparently so. Apparently so. And then I've got this one also is Alexandra. She's a little bit smaller, so I suspect this one's going to be in the $50 range. And then I've got, this one is very interesting. This is Victoria R.I. is all it's, it says on the bottom here. And there's a whole bunch of writing on the back, um, da -da -da -da, which I can't make up. The Whatcom Pottery Company. I have not had a chance to research this one, but it's marked like crazy on the back. So I'm going to be digging into this one. And unfortunately, it does have a little chip, but it is in the back. I'm not going to let that deter me from listing it. It's also terracotta. Whenever you have pottery that's in this clay-looking coloration, um, this is terracotta, and that's a really key word. So let's see what you guys are saying over here, as in Queen Victoria. Which one, Queen Victoria? Oh, this one, Queen Victoria. Perhaps 1837 to 1897. Is that when? Uh, is that when Queen Victoria? And it says, "God save the Queen." Duh. Okay. I guess I need to go take my history lessons again. <laughs> so this particular auction, um, my auctioneer's wife loves to go shopping, don't we all? And she had gone to a yard sale and bought an entire collection of Princess Di and Royal Family memorabilia. And this was all at the auction. And these were just the pieces that I got that kind of fit into my kind of weird stuff category. Um, but she did really, really well <laughs> selling it in her market. And then we're all selling it in our market. And everybody's making money. It's a beautiful thing. OK. so. Because I'm utterly good stuff, and I assume that people are perhaps coming over and looking for some cow-type collectibles and gifts, I do stay on the lookout for such. Cow Parade, Cow Parade. 
Um, so there are like full size, life size versions of these sculptures. Um, I believe they're all over now. They're, they're not just in, uh, where were they? Were they New York originally? They're, they're pretty much all over now. They've kind of started a craze. So there's these, these porcelain collectible versions, and there's all different ones. Chicago and then New York City. Okay, I knew New York was in there. They're marked Cow Parade on the bottom, and they got some other stuff. But you got to look up, you know, which is which. They're not all created equal. But at the very least, because cows are kind of a niche of mine, I'm at least, even if these are the lower level ones, going to get, you know, $30, $40 a piece for these. And I got that one with the purple grapes. This one's kind of cool. I think, is she drinking milk? <laughs> this one, okay, help me out here, guys. Why does this one have a hole on the top? What do you think that's about? What would you put in that? You like that one? I just don't know what the hole's for. No, it's not a picture. It's too small. Too small. I don't know. Maybe put a flower in? Very interesting. Hmm. Gonna have to dig into that one. I think that's the first one I see that has a hole in the top. Toothbrush holder? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Parade sign? I don't know. And then we've got this one with the uh, the three beach ladies on it. You notice how? Look at the cow's legs are the ladies' legs. Isn't that hilarious? Quite creative. Quite creative. So. So yeah, so I got me some cow parades. So Beth just said that she's got some listed. So Beth, we need to do a collection. How about that? We'll do a collection. You guys all doing eBay collections? Very important. Very important to do your collections. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. I think I told you guys that I was bidding on this stuff. I've showed this before. I've showed the mugs. This is a very, very popular pattern, especially this time of year. And it's a kitten, one of those names that's like impossible to say. Let's see. Walk, is it Wachtersbach? <laughs> Something like that. Yes. I can spell it. I just can't say it. Wachtersbach. Okay. So this platter alone will bring in the $40 to $50 price range. And I bought an entire lot. Let's see. I had the platter. There's at least 16 mugs couple other pieces for 25 bucks. So, score! Yes, it's German. It's German. But it's very, very signature when you see it out there. Pick this up. It sells. It definitely, definitely sells, you guys. You want to pick it up. Next week, I wanted to get to it this week. I, well, you know what? I promised on my Facebook page I would, I would talk about this. So if anybody is up in the Bay Area, run, do not walk to your local Starbucks. And pick up the, now it's an embossed mug. It is a black skyline embossed San Francisco mug. Okay? They're selling them for $15, but they are selling for $30 to $35 right now, which you know what that means. As soon as they are no longer available in the Starbucks themselves and they become a retired mug, that price only goes up. Only goes up. So they had five of them at the Marriott that I stayed at, but they had no boxes to put them in, and I was already packed up and heading out, and I couldn't get them in my suitcase. I was so bummed, but I figured somebody's up that way. Get over to the waterfront Marriott. Um, let's see, right by the airport over there. They had five of them when I left. <laughs> You know, and this is another one of those depth of inventory things. Even if you bought them at 15 and you sold them for 30 right now, and you times that by four or five mugs, add up that profit. That Well, that would just happen to be the one that I looked up at the time. There, are, I mean, always look up those Starbucks mugs, you guys. If you're passing by a Starbucks and they've got an interesting looking mug, look it up. Look it up. That's what I'm going to say. There's some good ones out there right now, some really good ones. Okay, I'm going to tell everybody, if you find one of the Swarovski crystal ones, you best pick that one up. Because those are selling for four, five, six hundred dollars $600. Those are really, really limited. Really limited. So, yeah. You want that one. 